Those of you who followed our last correct score trading jobby Villarreal versus 20 in the Europa Cup will remember we were rewarded with two positive elements to it. One, the right team scored, uh, and secondly, it was at the right time. Um, tonight, uh, we we're looking at uh, Macclesfield against Accrington, our first game, and Werder Bremen, um, who were away to Eintracht Frankfurt in the German Bundesliga. Uh, both are correct score jobbies. Um, the selections were slightly different. Um, in the Bremen one we see here, um, we chose 0-0, 0-3, 1-1 and 3-0. Um, the M Macclesfield, Agnes and Stanley uh, trade, however, was slightly different. Um, and then we went for a number of correct scores weighted towards uh, Ackridge and Stanley, who were the actual favourites. Now, as it happened, the wrong side scored first, Macclesfield. So that wasn't the best news for us, but uh, hopefully uh, in this video we'll show how we can get out of this. So our first thing that we do um, when um, either the right side or the wrong side scores uh, in a correct score trade like this is we look to try and minimize our red if we can uh, and here I am looking at laying uh, in the Frankfurt game let's quickly swift uh, change over to there um, it's still nil nil we'll come back to the Macclesfield one in a second um, okay the Frankfurt one we've looking at backing nil two two nil two two we're going to be laying 0-0 nil, nil and 1-1. One, one. It's now about 35 minutes into this particular game. And remember all the time that um, our stakes in this uh, German game were £29.70. We'll call it £30. So therefore our 20% figure we want to arrive at will be either something like a £6 profit or potentially a £6 loss. So I can afford to lay the 0-0. Nil, nil. And at the same time, I want to be backing um, some other scores. So there we see by this particular lay on the nil-nil, we'll be looking at about an £8, 25% kind of loss. Nil-one will be a scratch trade. Uh, so our profit basically will be on the nil-two and the nil-three. Or the three-nil um, conversely to, to Frankfurt. It's just about gone half time. I've put in a, an extra lay on the nil nil at threes, not taken, as Werder Bremen scored the first goal. Now we've got a fair amount of green on the 1 1, so I've decided to lay that. So all the time thinking about my 20% figure. I want to be careful of some higher score lines that I've got uh, red on there, 19 pounds on 1, 2 and 1, 3. So I've backed 1, 2. Nil 1, as we see there, is still a scratch trade. Nil 2 also is a scratch trade because we've backed that as well. 1, 3 is our danger. 1, 1 looks okay. 1, 2 looks okay. And that all those figures there you can see, apart from the nil 3, which is great. Um, correspond to this uh, um, seems sort of six, seven, eight pounds profit that we want to try and look at. Ideally, we'd like uh, another goal uh, to Bremen, but we'll come back to that one later. Now, back over to Macclesfield, it's still 1 0 in the second half. Accrington tend to score a lot of goals in the second half, so I'm not overly worried about the 1 0, but I've decided to back it anyway. Uh, the 1-1 one, one is obviously going to be our killer figure here. We've got £33 red on that. Uh, and our 20% figure um, on this particular game uh, is around about £15. Our initial stakes were £73. So we're looking to make something the region of £15 profit or loss. Back over to Germany and... Um, Frankfurt, in fact, equalised. Make it 1-1 with about five minutes to go. I've got some nice green on the 1-2 and the 2-1. I've decided at this point to do a bingo special. I don't mind if it's a scratch trade here now. 
I'll forego that 20% and see what happens there in the last couple of minutes. Uh, Accrington, in fact, did duly equalise to make that 1-1. One, one. So I'm kind of relatively comfortable with that £16 red figure there. That's the uh, maximum loss I'm prepared to take on this particular trade. But I've got the green on the 1-2, two, the 2-1, two, and the big green on the 2-all to play with. So I'm frantically uh, laying uh, those three particular score lines. I'm asking for the price that I want. Hopefully we're going to get matched on all three. Now we can see we're bringing the 1-1 one, one at least down to a scratch figure. The 1-2 also is... well. Very small loss there, to £3.50. We'd like Accrington to score again so that that 1-3 green we've got there of £80 will come into play. We can have some leverage on that. The 2 all, again, we've got £89 to play with there. Should it go to 2-1 as well? Now... I'm changing the figures, um, the actual stakes there on these lays uh, quite a lot. I've, I've kind of cut the video so we can't see all of the uh, particular um, stakes that I was trying out on the what if and then I changed them again. Um, so back over to Frankfurt just quickly, the last uh, sort of 30 seconds or so. And that finished 1-1, one, one, so that was a scratch trade, not to worry. Back over to Mansfield, now suspended, and it was 1-1 one, one with about 8-9 uh, minutes left. And Accrington scored, good news for us. And I wanted to put in a quick lay of the 1-1, uh, one, one, and it was just not matched in time, which is a shame. The one two lay did go through. I've still got this massive uh, green on the two two, so I really want to get rid of that. And there's very little liquidity in this market, so getting matched is becoming a sort of a slight problem. Um, and I really want to try uh, to to get some of that two two down. Uh, I want to get some green basically on my one two. And I've got this uh, nice big green on the one three, uh, which I also like to lay. But it is becoming so very hard to get matched in the last <coughs> excuse me in the last five minutes of this game. So I'm just sort of putting in basically any price that I can try and hopefully go for and be accepted. As you see, I've still got two pound fifty red on that one two, uh, and I shouldn't really be losing on this trade at this point given the green I've got on the 1, 3 and the 2 all, albeit there's only sort of about 5 minutes left of the game to play. So I'm changing my prices yet again. I do need to get mats, so I'm afraid I've got to take uh, the price on offer. Okay, the 1, 3 has been matched, that's okay. So at least uh, I'm getting some green now on my 1, 2. The 2-2 two -two hasn't been matched. Uh, all kinds of prices flying around there. Will I get that? The 13s, you can see my £5 uh, waiting to be matched on that particular score. I've got £111 on that. Okay, the 1-3 was taken. So... I'm not going to get fives. I'm going to look for eights now. Try and get eight pound on that. Take a little bit more off the one three. So what I'm trying to do here is get at least fifteen pounds uh, green on that one two figure. See the massive gaps there in the one two there available at 1.2 to, to back it was 1.53 to lay at some point okay it's coming to line a bit now it's 
still struggling to get uh, Matt on the 2-2. Two -two. Now at some point, um, I don't know quite whether the the video actually showed this, but Macclesfield did actually have a man sent off uh, with about three minutes to go, uh, and that obviously affected the uh, the two two price uh, quite severely. However, it did enable me to get at least get the one three matched. Now. I was doing a quick bingo special on the 1-2 at 1.15 for £10, and there you can see it there, suspended, and it went to 2 all with about a minute to go. Just missed out on uh, on an extra £10 profit there, which is a shame. Um, it went to 2 all. However, um, okay, not a big, big problem. I got the £24.90 green on the 2-2. Two -two. But there was still kind of a minute to go, and uh, the price is there at 1.1, 1.15. I really had to get in a very quick last ditch lay just in case, and it made my heart beat go extremely fast at this point because I'm not watching the game. But at, well, at 1.15 to back, would it uh, would it game me over? Yes, it was.